Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Warframe. I'm your host with the most, as always, Francois878. And in today's episode, we're going to be tackling the new operation introduced in update 16.5, Two Men of Rieger. Uh, not... Not as snappy of a name as previous operations, but that's okay. We'll give we'll give Digital Extremes a pass uh, due to the content. I I really like this event. It's very interesting. It has a lot of cool things to show off. Uh, this uh, event focuses on the new underwater tile set, uh, in the new Grenier underwater labs, as well as the new Teal Rieger redesign. Uh, as well as uh, more Nef Anyo and his redesign. And uh, as you can see here, you can actually see out underwater uh, from the labs and, and, and check that out. It's, it's really cool. I really like um, this new map set. This new tile set is... Uh, it's something new and it's different. It's distinctly Grenier. It still has that very Grenier feel to it, but it's di like you can see like just water coming down, you know, flooding areas, uh, you big open windows with you know real cool view. It's just this uh, tile set is a lot of fun, and I've you know it looks good and it, f it feels good, and there is uh, a, a bit of variation in the maps, obviously. Uh, depending on, you know, uh, where you play, and it's, uh, it, it's good, it feels good. <laughs> uh, but let's get to the operation. Uh, basically, this is a, a very, um, uh, you have to choose on this particular event. Uh, you either have to choose the side of Alid V, or you have to choose the side of Nef Anyo. Uh, now, your objective is to basically go into these underwater laboratories owned by Teal Rieger, the Grenier scientist who is trying to fix the cloning problem of the Grenier. And you have to go in here and you have to flood the lab and either steal the research or destroy the research. Now, if you decide to uh, side with Nef Anyo, you will have to uh, destroy the research. If you side with uh, Alid V, you steal the research. Uh, basically, the, the lore flavor of it is Alid V is looking to uh, restore himself after being corrupted by the infestation, and the... Uh, he, he's hoping that the uh, the research that Teal Rieger is doing will help him do that. Uh, now, Nef Anyo just really, really hates... Uh, Nef Anyo hates Alid V and wants him to fail. So your objective when you side with uh, Nef Anyo is just to destroy the research. And the levels change uh, based on... Uh, who you're supporting, uh, and uh, and everything else, and it's 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 really interesting, uh, and you actually get a different weapon depending on who you uh, will support at the end of the event. Um, the people supporting Nef Anyo will be getting a Dura Vandal, which is a Corpus rifle. And the people who are supporting Alid V will be getting a Carrick Wraith, which is a Grenier rifle. And uh, you have to do that basically by supporting one, either you have to support Alid V or Nef Anyo four times uh, in this event. And uh, so unfortunately you can't get both weapons. Uh, this is very similar to the Gradius uh, event uh, much earlier in Warframe's, uh, you know, lifespan, uh, where it was you could either support the Grenier or the Corpus, and you got a different, well, that was, it, that was the community as a whole, you know, supported one of the other. I'm 99% sure, you know, even if, as it's looking like, Alid V is going to win the event, uh, you know, even if you... You know, if you supported Nefanyo, you'll still get your Dura Vandal, even though uh, Alid V is going to be the one who wins this event. So, uh, that being said, 
I'm I am thoroughly a supporter of uh, Alad V. I think he he's a much bigger asshole than Nefanyo is, but he, I like his character much better. He's a much more uh, interesting character. Nef, I mean Nefanyo, he's cool. Don't get me wrong. I love the redesign. It's excellent. But I mean, he's just a uh, he's a corpus con man. Like that's not. I'd much rather. Uh, you know, side with someone who is a little bit more of an interesting villain, uh, such as Alad V. Uh, but the particular way that this event works is that there's basically, uh, it's like an invasion where it's, you know, uh, one, you know, a battle will start, it'll have a percentage, you know, 50% Alad V, 50% Nef Anyo, and then as people support you know, one of those two, the percent will change. And once one of them, you know, gets to 100% and knocks the other one out, you know, that's when the, uh, when the, that's when that particular uh, battle ends. And you have to participate in each battle three times, just like any other, you know, invasion or infestation level that, you know, just comes up randomly in the solar system. You have to participate three times in order for it to count as one of your... Um, you know, battles, and you have to have four battles by the time the event ends on May 20th, 2015. The event ends on May 20th, seven days from the recording of this video, in order to get your four, um, you know, battles, I guess. And uh, it's, so you, you'll have to do this mission uh, 12 times, minimum, uh, and honestly, I, I'm okay with that. Um, I've I've done it now um, nine times uh, as of the recording of this video, and it's the the maps are you know a little bit different every time. Um, the dialogue is mostly the same, unfortunately. There's I think maybe two or three uh, different dialogue choices that they can go through, uh, but. You know, seeing you know Teal Rieger in his redesign and Nefanyo is 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 really cool, and I still really enjoy it. And even Alad V, even though he's a little older, you know, he's been around for a little bit. You know, seeing him is still really cool. I think that they did a really good job on the Alad V. You know, with him being infested and all that. I think that that is a a really really cool thing. And uh, I think it really, it just makes the game just that much more interesting. Uh, but overall, I really like this event. Um, it's a lot of fun. It does, it's not tedious. Um, I, I know what you guys are thinking, 12 missions, that's, that's tedious. Like, not really. Um, not uh, Speed-wise, these missions take, I would say, 8 to 15 minutes. Not even, I would say... 8 to 12 minutes around, I would say, if that even. That's that's if you have a slow team. So you're going to be spending, you know, maybe maybe two hours total on this event uh, over the course of a week. So it's it's not that bad. It's not that tedious. And it doesn't feel tedious because, you know, you're, you're exploring a new area. You're, you know, seeing all these dialogue between these new characters and the, the new redesigns. It's, it's a lot of fun. It's... Uh, I, I thoroughly, thoroughly uh, enjoyed this event. It's the best event that Digital Extremes has had in a while. So I'm, I'm okay with it. I'll be honest with you guys. I'm totally cool with this event. Uh, but that is about it. Uh, unfortunately, no one will be getting uh, the Karak Wrath Wraith. God, I always call it the, ra the Wrath. The Karak Wraith or the Dura Vandal until the uh, event concludes. Uh, so I will be doing a video on the one that I chose uh, shortly after the event ends to show you guys kind of, you know, what it is and, and, you know, how it works and, you know, how much uh, better it is than the, the base weapon. Uh, but thank you very much for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe for more Warframe content. This has been Francois878, signing out.